Have you ever eaten phallic shaped cakes? Amarante, a small town in Portugal, is famous for these cakes. Called Bolos de Sao Gonçalo, these cakes were banned for nearly half a century in the conservative town. While this tiny nook of land is frequented mostly by those visiting Porto, a celebration of love and fertility takes place here on the first Saturday of June every year. Local grandmothers bake dozens of giant penises. And young and women gift each other these cakes. But how did a religious town get associated with penis cakes? While the origin of these cakes is a mystery, Sao Gonzalo, the town's patron saint, also known as the matchmaker in chief, is credited in helping people find love and marriage. One can find cakes of all shapes and sizes, hard and soft, in cafes here. They are also sprinkled with icing sugar and a white cream filling, making them even more suggestive. The cakes are said to be a symbol of fertility, and single men and women gift it to the other in the hope of finding a match approved by the saint. In the 1920s, these cakes were banned when the right-wing dictatorship took control of Portugal. Locals continue to bake and exchange these obscene cakes in secret, continuing local folklore. And finally, when Portugal became a democracy in 1974 after a military coup, these cakes were back. One can now find them in every corner of town with a cup of strong coffee to go with, reminding you of a crossover between a pastry and a cream roll. Love does survive all odds, indeed. What do you think? For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.